Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got one from the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Company. This is the Kentucky Winter Golden Stout. Let me clear something up real quick, though. All these beers are the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel something. That's actually not who the brewer really is. If you get looking on here, the brewer is actually the Lexington Brewing Company in Lexington, Kentucky. But all the stuff says Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Age. Now, this is a winter golden stout. Mm -hmm. Now, all of my co-hosts are really into dark so... beers, but this is a golden stout. So, we're trying something new. And if you look on here, it says golden stout aged in bourbon barrels on cocoa nibs. I like all those words, too. Yes. 8% alcohol. I'm ready. Crown cap collectors. A pretty cap. It's a nice cap. It's got a pretty little horse on it. Label collectors. Nice mm -hmm. label. Um, you can even smell the bourbon out of a bottle. Oh, you can. It's going to be dope in a glass. Oh, I hope it's boozy. Look at that. I kind of want it to be boozy. I do too. Well, I'm That's a big, what I want from a bourbon barrel. I'm, I want it to be I'm boozy. I'm a stout fan. I like boozy. I'm a bourbon fan. Um, I love bourbon barrel When beers. I bought this, I saw it was a winter stout, but it was golden. I didn't catch the cocoa nib until oh, much later. Man, you can smell it, though. Mm. Smell the chocolate? Yes. Uh-huh. I'm going in first. Oh, man, that smell is fantastic. Oh, that's terrible. I'll finish the rest of that. We'll just do a different video. You're going to get it out of my way? We'll just do a different video. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh. 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 Okay, I actually like that the cocoa is the very last thing. Mm. Okay. I get, if I was blindfolded, I wouldn't tell you this was this color. I would no. tell you it was motorola colored. I don't know if I go quite that far. I would. Because it has a little crispness to it. Yeah, but... The, I would definitely think it's darker than it is. The bourbon barrel part. Oh, there's the chocolate. I told you. You had to wait on the chocolate. The bourbon barrel part is perfect. Oh. The, the smoothness... So good. Oh, oh, and it has this little silky thing going on in the aftertaste, like you're right in the roof of your mouth. I do have a problem with it already. Winter. What am I gonna do in the spring and the fall and the summer when stock I can't get up. this? Better stock up during the winter. All right, I'm a super fan of barrel aged beers. Really am. Which I really would not have. Ugh. When we started hanging out, I don't know. never thought I'd get you that far. But if it's too woodsy, I don't like it. What do you got against trees? I got a lot against trees. I don't like piney IBAs. I love trees. I just don't want to drink them. Okay. I'm, I'm in on that. <laughs> um, I don't want to taste one. Yeah. You want to sit under them. You yes. don't want to drink them. Okay. We're going to be in a hammock between two of them. Um, <laughs> I mean, honestly, this brewery, the barrel aged is where they shine. Mm. That's what they do. That's how they do. Um, oh, you got that little boozy? <sighs> okay. When I say boozy, the Barrel aged boozy and the high alk boozy is two different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is 8% alcohol, but it's barrel aged oh boozy, God. not liquor boozy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. This thing literally keeps changing in your mouth after it's gone. I mean, this is a suburb There is beer. a party going on. 
there's no discernible hop note for my uh, no mm -mm. no my people that that aren't really into that hoppy flavor. Um, there's a nice malty backbone. There's not as much toasted in this. No, and I don't like overly toasted. A little bit of toastiness is good, and that's what this has. Um, I would almost say less than toasty. It's a little more caramelly. Yeah, it does have a good caramel. Which pairs taste. very well with a barrel aged beer. Yeah. Um, it has kind of a caramelly color going on. I like the color. I'm kind of upset only about one. <laughs> We're going to find some more. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I really do. I think that's really good. Yeah. Honestly, I have, I'm rating it in my head as I drink it, and it's... It is not simple, but it is not overly complex. Like, there well, is some, not there's annoying, a lot of... There's it's not a, annoyingly complex. Yeah, there are a lot of happy things going on in there. That's a good way to say it. There's a lot of happy things going Man. on. Um... I think I rate, I'm rate. i rating it higher as I drink it. Oh, God, yeah. The first taste I want to let it got one thing. Bit. And as I've yep. put it, hold it, oh, man. you'll warm it up. Uh, as, I, as I've as i drank it, I'm enjoying it more. And it's... Oh, I could down some of these really quick. Yeah, but at 8%, you might want to keep an eye on that. This little sucker could be dangerous. Because, I say that because a lot of people that aren't, high off beer drinkers they treat beer like it's light beer and it's four yeah. percent they can gun down 12 of them and not feel it but when you this start hitting those nice. high off beers yeah you shoot down 12 of them you're in you've already killed a case of like blood total? light um oh, that's lovely i i really like the fact that the cocoa doesn't come in until the very end mm. the chocolate too well, that oh the yeah the cocoa yeah. <laughs> um, I went coconut for some reason. I don't know where yeah. my head just went. Oh yeah, like oh yeah. Oh god, this is good for my stout fans. And I say, when in doubt, try a stout or have a stout. When in doubt, have a stout. <laughs> uh, I drink stouts all year long. Me too. Uh, if you're a stout fan, you're gonna really get into this. Uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm going to try to put more about this beer in the description. I've also got my uh, different contacts down there. Hey, if you're on Untapped, find me on Untapped. We can drink beer together, just like we do right here on YouTube. Uh, if you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps. Let's talk about it in the comments. And if you're so inclined, I do this three times a week. I've upgraded my camera, my lighting, even my gear. Give me a subscribe. Yes. I'm going for 500. We're going to do something stupid for 500. I don't really know yet, but I'm about 100 away. Then we're going for 1,000, and then the sky's the limit, guys. Also, if you check out in the description, hmm, there may be a merch link. <laughs> uh, we're starting to make beer stuff for beer people from beer people. So give that a check. Uh, hopefully, in some of these other videos, you're going to see some of my new shirts. I may even show a couple of my stickers or something. Uh, but let's go ahead and get down to it. Let's rate these. I think it's obvious that we dig it. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say we, we dig it. Let's just cut through that. Uh, would you have another? Uh, you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have seekability? Yeah, 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 yeah Kind yeah. of it does. Kind of bad we only own one. Yeah, <laughs> only God. I, sometimes I grab those pick six and I'm like, I'll do a video on this one and a video on this one and a video on this one. Because um, sometimes it gets expensive. You know, I can't buy a six pack of everything, everything. I want to do a video on. Uh, I don't, I don't got it like that. Um, but how many would you put in a pick six? Whole six. Get a whole six pack. Uh, if you're getting into that barrel aged, or oh, barrel aged. If you're getting into golden stouts, sorry hiccups. Definitely put one in your pick six. But, yeah, it's probably worth getting six of them. Yeah, I definitely. I'm going to gonna look for six. I like to rate all my beers one to ten. Nine. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm at an eight. I like it. I, I do it a lot. And one of my stout fanatics.
thinks it's really, really, really good. I'm, I'm really into barrel age. I'm really into stouts. I've really pushed you into the barrel age, haven't I? Uh, what, oh, God, I love it. Oh. <laughs> you got a barrel aged porter you're going to love. I love barrel aged beers. All right. We'll tell your next beer adventure, folks. Cheers. <laughs>